That was a great message, Mauricio. Thank you so much. It really gets us to think. You know, at the beginning with Bereshit, we see two brothers, the first two children on earth, one killing the, the other, which sets the stage for the, every imagination of our hearts was evil from our youth. And then we see here in Noah that we have only eight people getting on the ark after 127 years. No, 127, 120 plus seven days of, of giving a chance to change our behavior. So in other words, we have free will. We have been given choice. We, when we do something wrong, we do have it in our nature to change, to say, I know I did wrong. Please, God, help me. Let me make it right. So each and every one of us, you know, when God told, um, asked Cain, where is your brother? And he said, am I my brother's, brother's keeper? Yes, we are our brother's keeper. And who are our brothers and our sisters? Because we are all descended from one family, from Noah. We are all brothers and sisters. Everyone in this room, we are related to each other. And we all are our brother's keepers. We are all to take care of each other. So that was... And the, the idea of when you when we ask, are we building our own ark? What does that look like for each of us? Anybody have a, any ideas in our own lives? What does big, that look like? Big boat. <laughs> How are you building your ark, Brian, to prepare? Are you, are you being like Noah? Who was righteous in this in his generation? I always try to be right, you know. Even when somebody says uh, that it says that I'm I'm no good, she's lying, you know. And About you, your uh, tires, you 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 have a X wrench or a or a handle wrench. Yes, an X, a cross wrench. Cross wrench. That one you can take the take out the tires. The trouble is. When you had your car fixed last, when you changed your snow tires, they used a machine to put on the... the he doesn't have snow tires in El Salvador, Brian. Oh, you were here. <laughs> yeah, but he it was his story. He had an angel visit him. That was the whole idea. Mm -hmm. But if he couldn't get up his tire because it was done by a machine, that's why you can't take up the tire. Maybe. Thank you, Mauricio, for that. Are, are you saying you were really visited by an angel? Like, that's amazing. No, I'm not saying that it's an angel, like, you know, with a cherubim like that, you know. No, I but, don't mean but, that. But, but, yeah, but, but, but it was someone that God sent, really, yeah, that's because for sure, for in, sure. in, in the street, nobody was there. It was very early in the morning. So the probability to get a person walking and tell you I, I can help you, it's very low. So right, well, so that's, that's wonderful. Yes. Thank you for the message. Dude, had the tire it couldn't come up. Yeah, it couldn't come up because uh, it was done by a machine. Okay, that's what I, I'm not sure. I honestly I have more than four years than of not changing that tire <laughs> so i can remember if it was a, made by by machine i think so but but the point is i tried to pull and you know i was jumping on, on, on the on the toe on the uh, cross wrench cross wrench and, and and i tried to to you know to 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 get the tire out but but i couldn't and i mean uh and this thing man probably 150 pounds some something like that uh Absolutely. he just he just uh, made some he, he just uh, put on on the grange and and then he opened it and i said how it could be i couldn't <laughs> not really you, you it, loosened it, was, it for him yeah. you loosened it <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, but it's nice to think that God is always there. 
sending yeah. someone when we need it. Another yeah. thing that I, I really I love, thank you for your message, Mauricio. Another thing when you said that righteousness, a righteous man does not mean a perfect man, but sometimes we're taught, whether it's through Christianity or whatever, self-righteous people, that righteousness um, is, is perfection, or else we're taught that nobody could be righteous, um, only God could be righteous. But the truth is, we can be righteous. Righteous doesn't mean perfect, but um, well, it, it's not like somebody has to die for us because we're not perfect and we can't be righteous. You know, when Christianity says only God can be righteous, we can't be righteous. Um, but we, we have choices to do the right thing. Even righteous, the word righteous is right. Yes, you know, we can, in our, in our walk with God, we, every day we have choices to make. Even when we watch TV, we have a choice. Are we going to watch, uh, you know, which channels are we going to watch? I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing in our walk. And, and uh, it, you know, even though um, really goodness does come from God, but we could make the right choices, but it is like a partnership with God. He, could, he helps us to want to, 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 to walk the right path. And we are, yeah. you know, uh, the the point is, Noah. We, we we read it, and 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 this is so so grateful because the Torah teaches that Noah made mistake. So, yeah. it, 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 what what he did after he just plant a a, a vineyard and and then he get drunk. So, it, it is it, you you can. See, we can say, oh, he was not righteous, but not, that's not what the Torah says. No, so, he, was, he was a human being. I mean, we all talk about mm -hmm. the people after the Holocaust who suffered because of what they had been through and watching all those people die. Well, here, Noah watched the entire world War. die. Every animal. You know, he, he saw these animals coming onto the ark, but everybody else... I mean, that is a Holocaust. That's the yeah. first Holocaust. No wonder he got drunk. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. <laughs> no, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but, but you know, the point is um, their family made mistakes also. And, and, and so it's not um, about being perfect. It's about to do the right things That's at right. the right moment. And, and, so that, that that's that's thankful God. Uh, he shows all our, our, our heroes in the Bible as humans. Exactly. You know, can you talk a little bit about because there's a lot of controversy about what happened with Ham and who he was. Shem, Ham, and Japheth were the three sons of Noah, and Ham saw his father's nakedness. Can you explain why he was cursed through Canaan, his son? We know he wasn't, he himself wasn't cursed, Ham wasn't cursed, because God had already blessed them, his three sons. So he doesn't go back on his own word and take back his blessings. But then his son was cursed, Canaan. Yes, yeah, Canaan. Uh, the point is uh, that, you know, uh, that the Bible is not so clear. So, some of these are from Marseille's ideas, okay? But uh, according to Marseille's, uh, Noah was not only, he, he, he was not only naked, okay? The problem is that his son um, uh, abused him, okay, in a sexual way. So, uh, and, and, and because he was drunk, and, and, and we all know exactly, he was a righteous man, and and, and we can read it after in Ezekiel. Oh. Uh, I can remember if if chapter nineteen, but uh, it says, okay, if the world fourteen, uh, yeah, is it, going to be destroyed, and is Noah, Job, and Daniel. Only these three men will be saved. 
not their family. <laughs> okay, so uh, so we can see that in 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 some way these the sons absorb some of the customs of the of of those who were already dead. Okay. It is like remember Lot. Yes, I was gonna say his, the two daughters did the same thing. Yeah. So uh, why? Because they, they they raise up, they saw everything, so they is so normal. And and if we will after uh before, sorry, uh of the flood, it says that the 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 the, the sexual immorality was on the top okay mm -hmm. even they cross animals which means they took uh one lion and one elephant and you know this this kind of things so um so the the world was perverted mm -hmm. and in some way canon probably i say probably because i cannot assure but he saw that and, and and what he did after his father uh, was drunk, he abused. And when Noah uh, realized he was abused, he 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 just cursed, but he couldn't curse his son because, uh, and probably, and I say probably, Canaan was the same kind of. Uh, you know behavior so why do you think that the two son then the two children parrots and um there was no it wasn't parrots the two children of the daughter the ammonites mm -hmm. and the and the moabites right oh i yeah. guess they were also under a curse yeah they were under a curse yeah the but two you know but but they were Okay, but 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 we need to 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 make a a point. Okay, the courses you cannot inherit the the the, the courses. You decide if you take it or not, because in this case, if Moab in in, in Ammon will repentance about the past their past and, and decide to follow God of Israel instead to follow false gods, then you can see that, for example, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth exactly. decided to, to not follow. Or you can see in Rahab, she decided not to follow their gods, their, their customs. She decided to, 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 to follow God of Israel. So God is showing mercy. It is, it is, it is, so this is very important because um, the course was for, for the habits of Canaan, okay? And Canaan did not do nothing to, to, to make a Teshua, to return to God. So in all his, his sons, they follow false gods so from him comes food we are that are the uh, of north africa the mitraim the egyptians mm -hmm. um Kenan itself mm -hmm. okay all the all, 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 all those tribes sodom and, and gomorrah so all all, all all his pro do not make the shiva they they just try to 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 you know, uh, even uh, there, there is a an almighty um, hunter described in this portion. Nimrod. Nimrod. Yeah. So he's a descendant. And, and you know that the, there is a Mirage that says that Nimrod tried to, to, to show, okay, he knew about the curse of, of Noah. He already knew. And everybody was afraid about th this curse because God saved this man Noah. Okay, so it was very important for for these people. And, and and then 
Nimrod said, okay, I am like God. I can prove you. Uh, I, I am strong enough. And so he, he decided to, 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 to build this tower. Uh, but the point is, uh, he was like fighting against God, like, like, like trying to say, okay, I know Noah said that, and, and, but who cares? I can prove we are strong enough to, 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 to face and, and defeat God. So the eternal just calm down and, and, and love on, on all these men and, and what he did. He, he confused so everybody. <laughs> so, uh, so this is the point the the curse is about the, the the actions about what they did okay it's not really about who we who to the person itself and, and this is very important um and, and you know uh, also there is a, a mirage that, that that to me um Sometimes we 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 have uh, some favorite uh, heroes, okay? Because I've, I I have heard too much in this week uh, mm -hmm. that if, for example, Abraham or Moses will be at the same time of Noah, they could save all the humanity, but we are not sure about that, okay? Mm -hmm. Because they said, uh, okay, Moses, for example, Gal told him okay i'm gonna destroy all israel and and i'm gonna make a new uh nation from you okay it's like noah but what he said noah did not didn't say to god hey god uh don't do that it's not written okay right moses uh, instead he said oh god if you're gonna destroy destroy me please Okay, uh, we can see that also in, in, in Abraham. Right, I'm gonna tried. destroy, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. in, in in what he what Abraham did, he, is, he starts to 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 intercede for, to for negotiate persons, uh, to negotiate mm -hmm. with this person with, with God and please God one hundred until okay. ten. Okay, yeah. So. They, the 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 said okay for that reason it says that he was Noah was righteous in his generation right. because in another generation he wouldn't be so high right yeah it's a point but <clears throat> but, but I'm not agree at all because uh, for example if you don't leave the Holocaust and we are only witness about books and about videos and about, but we didn't uh, go through live it. going through it, okay, in our own flesh, we cannot say really what how we how we how, would how be. we behave. Right, exactly. So, I, I don't know what happened in these 120 years, really. Uh, but 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 honestly, uh and for that reason, I, I, I do really love this this um, comedy about Noah. Uh, that, uh, there is a movie uh, about Noah that they, they, they are in New York, I, I, I think, or in Washington. Or, uh, and they, they, this man has to build up an ark. And everybody starts to, to, to laugh about him. And the family starts to be, you know, uh, provoked and things like that is very funny. But it's honestly, that's what happened. I mean, there was no rain at that moment. Right. And, and imagine you are telling old people, okay, it's going to rain. And, and people first thing to, to, to ask is, what is rain? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. You know, the... The, the the atmosphere i don't know how he could explain that but uh, there is a a, 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 a 
atmosphere and the atmosphere will start to make a, a cloud and then you're going to see uh, the, the sky drying some water so maybe there I, had I, never been clouds yeah i don't know and, and, and you know it's interesting another fact that we are already studied this this tuesday and it's about there is a scientific um, uh, comprobation that um, the atmosphere changed after the flood. Okay, and, and that's according to 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 the scientifics. They say, okay, if you put under more pressure, then you're gonna breathe slowly, and the and the and the air will be. Uh, a little bit uh, heavier, okay? Then that will give you the opportunity that your lungs and all your body lives more time. So that's the explanation why they can live prior to the, 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 the flood, 900 years, the atmosphere was another one. Yeah, and not only that, it, there's a verse where at the time of Peleg, where it was, the earth was divided the land was divided at that time so they what they say is that all the land was together and all the seas were separate and now it would be separated so that so they they couldn't walk across continents it was it was divided and we can see how that even that in itself would change change the atmosphere would change temperatures would change everything yeah. Yes, um, and, 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 and you know that that and it's so interesting the, this portion of of Noah because we can see there is a new a new world, okay. So it is like God recreating all His creation. I mean, uh, everything was death. Then we start life. We start the the the. Uh, the plants, the herbs, everything was new completely. So, um, and it's interesting that the flood is, was not only rain, that the flood came out from, 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 from inside the, the earth. Right. So, and, 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 and I really, I really love that. Yeah, it must have been like these, you go to the States and you see these geysers, they're called in English, and they, the water just comes up. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Moshe, do you have any uh, questions, any comments? Maybe you can't hear. Anybody else have any questions, any comments about the... Uh, the portion today it was a wonderful message uh, and uh, i want to say something uh, about the uh, since uh, some uh, rabbis say that the corruption at the time of noah was um, uh, the materialism that the, they have the the materialism came over over uh, in the life of the of the people and and that uh, God uh, God take uh, down in, in their life in, in the sense of uh, they they see more about the material things than the in God. And that is uh, also in, in 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 our times. Yes. Uh, every every generation has their own uh, their own challenges, like we have. But we live in, in now, it does, so we see what is happening to now, uh, today. It's about the how the the, the scenes, the materialism, the cosmism, all the scenes that take over uh, over God in, in our time. And okay, how how we can we can uh, confront this uh, problem today? Uh, God, when God said to, to Noah, uh, go inside the ark. Go, you and, and your family go inside the ark. Uh, the, the, the word for ark is teva. And uh, it's the same word for world. 
Tebas means also word. Parola. Work? Yeah, parola. Uh, word. So, uh, say rabbis, some rabbis say that uh, teaching that that is, we can challenge it, we can confront, we can uh, go in uh, fight uh, about the, the, the crisis in, in, in today is go inside the ark. In our ark is our, is the paro, the, the, the word. The, the Torah, study, studying Torah and doing tefillah. How? Because when we, we when we um, speak about word, we sing and communication. Communication is communication with God uh, uh, through the tefillah and uh, studying the Torah. Uh, in, 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 this, in, this, uh, in this way, we can make a connection with God. And, uh, but uh, we, we study Torah and do tefillah to, to uh, resolve the problems? No. We can only is our instruments to have the way to act because uh, we can we uh, only study Torah and uh, and praying we cannot resolve the problems is is uh, ap apply the, the Torah is living the Torah in, in our lives and acting it's interesting what you say Alejandro about the materialism it's so true um, lately, I've been listening to different people speaking, people who are multimillionaires, multi-billionaires. And I've never seen so many millionaires and billionaires that we have today. And yet in some of these interviews, the words, the language that they're using, they're so ridiculous that you don't understand what they're saying. And I was I went downtown yesterday because my my daughter's coming with her kids in a couple of weeks and I want, she wants to go like in the underground to see the underground city. So I went with Miriam to be able to see what it what it's like. And then we went into a store on St. Catherine Street and there was a beautiful sweater and a vest. So I said, I think I'll go in just to see how much it is because it was really warm and beautiful made here in Canada. This this the sweater, the turtleneck sweater was five hundred and ninety five dollars. The vest was six hundred and twenty five dollars. And I'm going a sweater and a vest. Twelve hundred dollars. I said, what kind of insanity is that where people would have the money to be able to pay for that? I mean, we have people who are who don't have food, don't have homes. It's just insanity. The materialism that is ruling. And I, and I said to Miriam, I said, I'm so happy that I don't need those things to make me happy, that I don't need to live in the materialism to be pulled by it for today. Uh, are, are the, are the, are the, the, the physical thing or material things bad? No, no, that is not the issue. The, the, the problem is when these things uh, became the priority. Exactly, exactly. It's, God is the it be, uh, ha, had a, our first uh, place in us in our yes, life. Yes, exactly. And not the material sin, because exactly. uh, when uh, the the ark was a material sin, but the, I, I remember always I remember the Rabbi Percy that say that God no bless us to sin in us only. Black, never uh, God bless one people, one person to sin in this person. Is he God always sin in all the all the community? It, it, we are blessed to bless others. Yes. So, so God, uh, uh, Noah construed, built the ark to save all the people. Right. Not for the not the, not for the sake of only the. No way in family, no. Exactly. He's, he's thinking about the, the humanity. Imagine his frustration. So uh, when when we have uh, material sins, it's good, but we have used that for uh, bless others. That is, I got uh, 
want. We can yes. link with the for uh, for Sarah e. Lo que dijo Alejandro que quería que te lo traduzca tradujera. Mauricio said. Ale Alejandro, you could say it in Spanish. They're your words. <laughs> Eh, eh, ma, eh, lo que estoy diciendo, este, eh, Saraí y Priscila, es que eh, la palabra eh, arca significa, eh, la palabra arca viene de la, de la palabra teba en, en, en hebreo. Y la palabra teba también se usa para la palabra word, eh, palabra. Entonces, cuando Dios le dijo a Abraham, entra, a, a, a Noé, entra en el arca tú y tu familia, le estaba diciendo, este, para nosotros aplicarlo hoy día en esta crisis que tenemos y en, estos, en, esto, en nuestros tiempos, es entrar en la palabra, estudiar la palabra y hacerte fila, porque eso, eh, eso nos crea una conexión con Dios. Y es a través de esa, de esa conexión que nosotros vamos a poder vivir una vida que, que Dios quiere. Eh, cuando algo que dije, que voy a decir que no dije en inglés, es que cuando Dios dijo, uh, le dijo al hombre, aquí te presento la vida para que vivas. Dios quiere que, que vivamos la vida. Dios quiere que vivamos una vida en, en toda su plenitud. Entonces, las cosas materiales deben ser usadas para bendecir a otros. Cuando nosotros, Dios nos bendice con, con cosas materiales para que nosotros bendigamos a otros y no, no solamente para nosotros. Eso es lo que pasa eh, cuando nosotros perdemos el propósito de lo que Dios quiere para nosotros. Que... Eh, las cosas materiales vienen, eh, recibimos y vienen a, a, a tomar un, un lugar muy importante en la vida, tanto que nos olvidamos de Dios y del propósito para lo cual tienen las cosas, las cosas materiales. That's true. We really start to live when we start to live to serve others. That's when we, 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 we start to see the true value that each of us have. If we live only for ourselves, our, our lives are very narrow. It's very true. Beautiful message. Muchas gracias, señor Alejandro, por explicar. Thank you, Mauricio, for uh, the, your message. Um, uh, thank you, Alejandro, for your your uh, input concerning about the uh, the meaning of of the teva, which is the the word. You know, we put the word, and it's interesting in my understanding about the purpose of of, of this beautiful uh, uh, narrative that we see, that we read, and keep reading, and 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 trying to understand the purpose of all that. You know, if you start thinking, like asking yourself questions, like, well, if the reason of the flood was because of the human perversion and human, uh, uh, you know, uh, transgression of the natural laws that the creator established, then why right after uh, uh, Noah commit exactly the reason why humanity was, uh, you know, uh, removed. So now I have so many questions and I'm trying to think and uh, uh, analyze and say, okay, so then humanity was not actually the main reason why we were all, uh, you know, uh, you know, why, the, the, the purpose of the, the flaw was now. Now I, I try to understand also the arc as a purpose of, and I, 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 I look that there is a common meaning. We see in the, uh, the a common purpose of keeping, of preserving, of, of, of a, a carry, of a saving, of, a, uh, um, you know, we see that on, on the ark that Noah built, and we see that also in the ark of the covenant. You know, as we know, uh, you know, everybody has in their own house a little box. You know, where you always put the stuff that is the most valuable, and you keep it there. You know, and you protect it, you preserve it. You always. So what I understand in the entire story, in my point of view, is that the Creator show us the importance of life. And us as a human beings, living beings, how precious we are in the eyes of our creator, that he will uh, 
tell us ahead of time and they will uh, ask us, you know, uh, you know, you are, or, or not ask us, they will tell us that we are actually the most, we are very loved by our creator, that he will do anything that he could to preserve us and to save us. And by seeing all these, uh, you know, uh, we have, we, we could, you know, go into the details, trying to analyze, you know, uh, read what the rabbis say. Oh, yeah, because, you know, all these animals, they could represent all the nations, you know, and all these little things that, that you know, uh, comments that, that, you know, it has the same kind of uh, uh, idea of preserving humanity, saving humanity. And this is nothing that before we have not seen. We have seen that before in the story, previous, previous story about the importance of life and caring and preserving in the life of uh, Hebel, okay? And we see the other uh, side of the mirror or the other, uh, the opposite side, which is no valuing, uh, not giving value of, of life as it is, you know, uh, in the case of uh, Cain killing his brother, right? Without having any remor remorse or anything, uh, I know, uh, any understanding or that is the word consciousness of knowing that life is more important than anything. You know, uh, so even more important that, than the entire planet. Like, you know, if you think about it, all the animals that they die, except those that they were put in the ark, you know, uh, and all the trees and all the vegetation, all that you are trying to destroy the entire thing. The work of years of years and who knows how many thousands of years and of preparing and getting all that, the garden that it was set up there and all the rest that it was just, you, it makes you think, you know, about the real purpose you know, that was to continue and preserve, like in the case of, of the Ark, we know, what would we put in the Ark? We didn't put Moshe inside of the, the, the Ark, you know, in the, in the, you know, the Ark of the Covenant. We didn't put uh, the high priest, Aharon, even though the Ark was called the Aharon, uh, uh, you know, the Ark of the, you know, uh, how called? Aharon, uh, is a second. Yeah, the Aaron Kodesh. The, uh... Yeah, Aaron, yeah, Aaron, okay, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. So, no, what did we put inside? We put the word. The Ten Commandments. And the, uh... the living. Remember Yeshua talking about, you know, about the living word? About, about, uh, that is the most important thing, you know, in life. It's not uh, the physical, the physicality. But what we learn about all these stories is about the spiritual importance of what really is life. Because if you look at the scriptures in Yeshua, when he talks about, um, when his disciples say, well, these people are uh, trying, you know, they were not following, but they were trying to bury someone. someone and and they say, say something like, it blow your mind. I'll, like, don't leave the dead people, bury their, you know. So in, in the sense that, wait a second, is Yeshua saying that these people are not living people? No. What he was trying to say is that there were different people among, in, in, in this example, that there were people who were truly consciously in li living with understanding of what life is. And the other people that were not under, uh, yet understood and did not have this uh, uh, comprehension or uh, or level of, of that they had reach of, of uh, understanding the what the most important thing, no? So now with all this, uh, just resuming is that that life is the most important thing in existence, in creation. And, and that it's a thing that we have always to keep in mind that, uh, you know, 
when we have to choose and we have to uh, you know uh, take this make decisions we have to always make decisions about about that you know about importance of life and and, and well that's the the answer to live it, not, where is our ark yeah that's that's the whole issue of where is our ark exactly so when we keep the commandments and you know your commandments and you keep them yeah you are uh, in the sense of we are not only understanding but we make it living we are making it real we are make, like living it's a living uh, thing I, I i watched uh, something that was in super super interesting and it just to explain what is the meaning of consciousness in our lives okay and this guy starts i have the video i have to share but i, I don't have it right now but, but just to resume it this man it comes and is trying to explain about um about something that we are not developing as we should in the sense of uh making the meaning of words uh making them real and like life to make them living and and he comes with a nice explanation like sometimes it's like if you are uh, right now you trying to think and you can think a word like for example life but you're not going to pronounce it you're going to have it in your head but it's rare you didn't hear it and you never uh, spoke this word okay and and but it's still there you know that is real it's live it's it's alive it's uh, you know i don't know how to explain uh, it's it's um, it's something that it's there either it doesn't have any physicality or it doesn't pronounce it doesn't uh, uh, produce any uh, frequency or any uh, sound that could prove okay so just to resume is that the importance of living a life but in the sense of towards uh, the spiritual uh, uh, understanding of the consciousness and, and and knowing and knowledge thank you angel well i want to Thank you all for being here for this beautiful Shabbat. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. It looks like it's a beautiful one here uh, for, for Moshe in Uganda. He's getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> and uh, so uh, thank you again, Mauricio. We look forward to um, spending a, a, just a, a wonderful week with each other and living, living the, the word, living the Torah. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat